Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Nathan and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. If you are, make sure to drop a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the time that I thought that I was dying. This was a very scary event that happened to my life about four or five years ago. I was in seventh grade, so however long ago that was. So, it was a very scary event and, you know, I never thought this was going to happen and I I just hope that it never happens again. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I did make a video of where this spot happened or where it happened at. I briefly told you guys about it in my video where my girlfriend and I were walking in the woods. I think it has like 3.3 thousand views right now, which is absolutely insane. You guys smashed the hell out of that video and it just means so much to me. But yes, it was in the woods. So let me just, you know, go on how the day started. So it was a rainy day and you know, I was kind of bored and my friend Ryan hit me up. He's like, yo, I got Dalton, I got Cole, and I got Chad at my house, you should come over. And I'm like, yeah man, sure, I wasn't doing anything. So I was like, yeah, let, let, let me come over. So I walked over to his house and everyone was there. And we were sitting in his house for about, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. And we got kind of bored, we were playing with this blow dart gun. And we ran out of stuff to do. So we were like, yo, let's, you know, walk somewhere. You want to walk to Walmart or something like that. And Ryan was like, yo, I have a good idea. So he showed us this trail, and I never even knew about it, but he showed us this trail. And we were like, yo, where does this lead? And he's like, I don't know, I never fully walked through the trail before. So we walked through the trail, and it was kind of a rocky trail. And if you guys watched the video of where my girlfriend and I, you know, walked, that is the trail that I was talking about. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. But we were walking on that trail. I picked up a rock, and I threw it in the woods to try to scare my friend Chad. Because he was in front of us, and, you know, he wasn't even paying attention. Two of my friends were in front of us, and then the rest of us were in the back. So they were, like, a little bit ahead of us. So I threw a rock in the woods to try to scare him. Yes. That is such a stupid idea. Like, why would that scare someone? We were in seventh grade. That is so stupid. I understand. I understand. But I threw a rock. It was like a meat. It was like a rock like that big. Ha, I got you guys. Look, I'm just kidding. But it was a rock about that big. And I threw it in the woods. And, you know, it didn't really scare him. He's like, what the hell was that? And, you know, so basically we just tried to scare each other from, you know, from that point. And that kind of sounds weird. Like, two guys trying to scare each other. That, that, ugh. <laughs> that doesn't even sound right. But we were trying to scare each other, and you know, we kept throwing rocks back and forth, back and forth. And this is where it all happened, okay? It is where I thought I was like dead or I thought I was dying. So basically, what happened was, you know, I was walking ahead this time. Like, me and my friend Colt were walking ahead, we were talking, and then the rest of my friends were in the back. They were talking about, you know, who knows what. But we were walking, and we were almost at the end of the trail where it gets to that little creek. And basically, you know, I was walking, I was walking like in between both of my friends. Like, Colt was like, you know, a meter head in front of me and you know out of nowhere like literally out of nowhere I just fall to the ground like I don't even like I can barely remember like how I fell but I like fell to the ground and I couldn't even see anything like I thought I was like I think I got knocked out for a couple seconds but I don't even know all I saw was black my ears I couldn't hear anything I just heard ringing in my ears and it was the scariest thing that has ever happened to me out of nowhere I just fell fell to the ground and you no know, ringing in my ears I couldn't see anything for about you know a minute minute and a half I was just laying on the ground and everyone was running up to me and I finally like opened my eyes and I just saw everyone like you know surrounded around me and I was like yo what just happened like am I am I dead like what is going on and you know like dude I hit you with a rock by accident I'm like what and then I got up and I was like I couldn't even walk really they had to help me get up and I was still like I could hear some things but I couldn't really hear everything so I got up and basically what happened then was you know I, I got up and then I could eventually walk it took me a little bit to you know catch my balance and stuff like that and you know I finally was able to walk but I still could barely hear a little bit and my head was just hurting it, it was in so much pain like I don't even know if anything compares to that I mean, how much pain I was in I mean I think my wisdom teeth was a little bit you know not as worse but it was awful so I got up and I put my hand in the back of my head and you know all I felt all that was I was wearing like a blue shirt I think and that blue shirt was covered in blood my whole neck was covered in blood I pulled my hand out to look at it it was covered in blood that is when I started to cry because I was so scared I'm like what is going on like I don't even know what the hell is going on at this point and you know I started to run like I bolted back to my grandmother's house it was 
about 25 minutes away, so I just ran as fast as I could, and they were all, you know, chasing me, like, Nathan, slow down, Nathan, wait up, are you okay? And I didn't even know, like, I didn't even know what was going on, it was, it was so scary. So then I finally got back to my grandmother's house, and like, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I got hit in the head by a rock, she's like, whoa, whoa, what happened, what happened? And she saw the amount of blood, like, the amount of blood that I, like, probably lost is absolutely insane, like... It was just scary. To I just hate thinking about it because it was awful. I went to the hospital like right after and you know I got there and I, I immediately got waited on because obviously I, I had blood like literally running down my neck. So they took me like right away and they put me in a seat. I will never forget what happened. Okay. I will never forget. The doctor came in with a big ass needle. The needle was like that big. Okay. And he came in. It's like this will hurt a lot. I'm like okay. You know it probably won't hurt that bad. It's just like I thought I was getting a shot. He sticks this long needle into where I got hit in the head so like they shaved a little part of my head back here and it was just like a gush like it was just a gash it was so like oh it was nasty and you know he stuck the needle in the cut and it had alcohol in it and you know I I know this will probably make you guys like cringe a little bit like oh ah. but yes it was like oh just thinking about it he stuck a needle in a cut with alcohol oh it hurt so bad it literally hurts so bad. Like, I'm just shaking thinking about it. And then I had to get, like, eight staples in my head. And, you know, that didn't really hurt because he numbed it a little bit. And then, you know, he put the staples in. It just felt like pressure. So I had to get staples in my head. And then I think I went to the school the next day. I can't believe it, dude. Usually when I get hurt like that, I try my best not to go to school. But I went to the school the next day and everyone was like, yo, are you okay? Chad, I felt so bad for him. He felt so bad. Like, he didn't even want to talk to me. He thought I was, like, mad at him. I'm like, dude, it was an accident. We're okay. We're friends. And, you know, that's how it all happened. That is the time that I thought that I was dying or almost dead. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you want to hear more story time videos. I definitely have a bunch of story to tell you guys. Let me know if anything happened to you similar, like you got hit in the head by something or you thought you were dying. Let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. My name is Nathan. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.